Okay, I just wanted to do a follow-up video on my mango trees. Um, this is my Nom Doc Mai. I sprayed this back in January 1st and it took about a month for it to start blooming. I sprayed it with the uh, potassium nitrate. It's now uh, near the end of March. Um, as you can see, I've got some small mangoes going here. It's been kind of strange though. Uh, took a month for this to start blooming and then uh, this side of the tree bloomed pretty good but really there's a lot of the branches on here that didn't bloom at all and then as you work your way around the tree like the other side of the tree there's um almost no blooms so it's kind of weird I've had a lot of new vegetative growth this big batch in here grew and and as you work your way around to this side, there's uh, one or two little groups of panicles, but then all this side just had nothing. So, I don't know, but uh, you can see it's kind of uh, a lot of white stuff on the tree here. That's from some sulfur I sprayed on it a few days ago, fighting all kinds of fungus and mold and stuff. And then we come over to this tree. I started spraying this four weeks ago. There was one panicle on the other side of the tree when I started, but nothing else looked like it was going to bloom. And then I had a whole bunch of new vegetative growth. All this side over here, these light colored leaves. And even some of this stuff in front, brand new vegetative growth. But, just in the last few days or this last week, I've got a whole bunch of new panicles coming out now. Um, I wasn't holding my breath, but then as you come over to this side of the tree, see here's a, another little batch of panicles here. And then you start looking up here, there's a whole bunch of them coming out. So it's almost like the opposite side of the tree for this tree is all busting out with new blooms. So I'm really happy. Um, a month ago, the first day I started spraying this, I actually had this branch of panicles down here that had come out. So I don't know if all these started uh, blooming because of the potassium nitrate. Although it didn't look like it though when I was spraying it. You know, it didn't look like any of it was going to bloom. But uh, now I've got all kinds of uh, blossoms coming out. So I'm really happy about that. And the weather's been really wet this last week. Um, Causing a lot of problems for my, uh, I don't know if it's anthraxnose or the fuzzy mildew or what. Um, anyway, I sprayed all the trees with sulfur the other day. And then I think I need to spray this with copper too. I think I got some anthraxnose problems on here. I'll show you some of the mangoes. But this tree, my old uh, Brook Slate, this is my old faithful. Although it's always had all kinds of... Uh, anthraxnose I guess uh, last year we had 50 mangoes off this tree and this year it looks like it's gonna bloom even harder but as you can see let's see um, where is it oh this little mango down here big black spot underneath it and then there's another one up here it's got a bunch of black I should probably cut it off but I'm going to wait another week or two and try to spray it with the uh, copper just to see how it affects the, the black on the mango. Uh, I'm sure I'll cut them off though, but it's just kind of an experiment to see how well the copper affects the anthraxnose. But uh, it's doing pretty good, but you know, like in here I got one small mango, but a lot of the, the blossoms in here kind of got rotten looking. We had all that rain. Uh, a few of them though. I have another little baby mango there. I just don't know how long it's going to hang on. But like these blossoms look nice and bright right now. But then you got some of these that are looking all dark and uh, a lot of fungus or virus or whatever it is. But anyway, that's the update. Uh, for sure, it looks like the potassium nitrate forces them to bloom, though, because neither of these two non my trees, this one or that one, had bloomed in the five years that they've been planted. 
So I'm really happy about that, and, and I really hope next four or five months that I actually get to try a Namdok Mai for the first time. Anyway, uh, I'll post an update later if I see any more progress.